What is up everybody? It's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 World Overview. And today we're going to be looking at Wallapa Valley. Now this world was recently recommended to me by one of y'all. So thank you to the person that recommended it to me. Now I've known about this world for a while. I've had it in my game for a really long time and I've just never gotten around to look at it on YouTube. So I was like, let me go ahead and try to look at it now since I did recently look at Cape Garner. So this world kind of gives me like the similar vibes. This world is based off of the Pacific Northwest. And as y'all can see, it has like really amazing mountains over here. Like it, this world is just beautiful again it really reminds me of cape gartner and a little bit of great bear so like i like the vibes if that makes sense <laughs> now this world uses late night pets university life and island paradise and then you will also need town life stuff and high-end loft stuff it is recommended also that you have riverview which is a free store world on the sims 3 website you can download it for free if you register your copy of the sims 3 through the website so if you haven't already go ahead and get riverview it is kind of recommended that you have that world and this world also does use some custom content i think it uses the corner series by all sims so yeah but it'll be included with the download so now let's go ahead and get into it though so i'm gonna start down here at the float so i did some looking around before i started recording because i wanted to know if these were just houses or like buildings on the on these piers right here and from what i've seen all of these are like houses so we'll check those out later in the video i tend to look at the houses later on if this is like your first time watching me i look at the houses and stuff like after I look at the community lots. So we're gonna get to the community lots first. Let's go ahead and start down here at the float first. All right, y'all, so we're down here at the float. Let's go ahead and open it up. When you scroll down, you just have your bathrooms down here. There are some stairs. So let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick. So when you go upstairs, you have a nice bar over here. You have plenty of tables to come and sit down at. You also have the bubble blowing machine and your arcade cabinets. There's also a stereo. And then you also have access to a balcony up here that your Sims can you know walk along or sit down. So I think that is really nice. Of course, you're out here on the pier, so you could definitely come out here and fish jump in the water just enjoy the scenery like this is beautiful i love this part of the world it's like one of my favorites all right y'all so now i think what i'm gonna do let's go this way and then we'll like circle back this way if that makes sense so let's go over here next to the wallapa lake port authority okay y'all so we're down here at the wallapa lake port authority and it is classified as a fishing spot so you can have your sims come out here on the pier and of course fish you can also sit down if you want to and just enjoy the scenery and then you have this building which i'm not really sure what it is so let's go ahead and open this up real quick so when you scroll down you have these inaccessible rooms right here that you can't go inside they're kind of like just there but you have some fish on the wall and then over here you have some bathrooms and then you have a, a desk so i don't know if this is like a game office or a fishing office maybe you have to come here to get a fishing license or something i don't really know what this is supposed to be there are some vending machines over here though let's go ahead and scroll upstairs so when you go upstairs there's just empty space in the hallway and there's nothing in the rooms you can't actually go inside of those rooms so i'm not really for sure maybe this is like a game office or a fishing office or something like that maybe you have to go there to get like a fishing permit i'm not really for sure but i think it looks nice regardless but all right let's go ahead and keep moving on though so we're gonna go ahead and check out the flavel the flavel hotel hopefully i said that right so let's go ahead and check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the flavel or flavel hotel hopefully i'm pronouncing this right but it is classified as a hotel it has a really nice tutor style on the outside and i think it looks kind of fancy i love that green siding on it but let's go ahead and open it up and scroll all the way down so when you come in i guess this is one of the entrances so when you come in you have your front desk area over here nice little lobby area to come and sit down at it has a couple of fireplaces in here as well you can come over here in this corner and get married if you want to so i think that's kind of cool though you can get married on this lot over here you have a workout room with your treadmills your weight machines there's also some bathrooms over here as well and then over here in this section you have like the dining hall or like the buffet room with your buffet tables tables you have a bar right here and then you also have a little piano over here on the platform and then when you come outside of the lot you have a food stand over here you have plenty of tables and places to come and lounge at by the pool you of course have the pool a pool slide pool bar over here there's even a diving board and then over here in this section you have a hot tub with some places to come and lounge at so i love how like white it is out here and bright i think that looks really really cool and then there is something i think in this little building right here let me scroll down again to see so oh there's something down below so you know what let's go downstairs real quick oh, okay 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 so down here so when you scroll all the way down at the bottom of the lot you have these rabbit hole rooms that your sims can come and stay in so like you know they would go inside and disappear so 
that is pretty cool so they're at the bottom of the lot but now let's go ahead and scroll up so when you scroll up i'm gonna like try to look at it from this way so when you scroll up you have these empty rooms right here and right here i guess you can furnish those there's also like another empty room over here i guess you can furnish these if you need more space for sims to sleep i guess but otherwise you have bedrooms i guess i can bring the walls back down right so you have like a bedroom over here with its own ensuite bathroom it also has a fridge and a coffee machine and a tv in it there's also a desk this room over here is pretty much the same layout so i think that's pretty cool and it does also have an ensuite bathroom and then in the hallway you just have some places where your sims can come and sit and let's go ahead and scroll upstairs again so when you scroll upstairs again you have a room kind of similar to the one that we just saw the only difference is that this one has a single bed in the corner and it has like a love seat in it i want to say but otherwise i think it's pretty much the same this room is kind of similar where it has like the same items just in a different layout and then over here you just have a room with a double bed and then you have another empty room over here so you can definitely add a lot more on this slot if you want it to though but all right y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go over here next to the wallapa public library all right y'all so we're down here at the wallapa public library i love the brick on the outside it looks kind of fancy but let's go ahead and open the lot up so when you come in you have your like front desk area right here over here on this side you have plenty of computers so if you need a computer for something you can definitely come and use these i don't really know how fast these computers will be though but you know hey at least you have a computer if you need it. Over here, you have some places to come and sit down. You have your bathrooms over here. And then over here in this section, you just have, I guess this is like a little like kitcheny type of area. You have a fridge here, coffee machines. You can come sit down and eat or sit by the fireplace if you so choose or just read over there maybe. I don't know, maybe keep the books away from the fireplace. <laughs> over here in this section, you have a plenty of bookshelves so you can come and read and stuff like that if you want to. So that's also some items for kids and toddlers to play in. So that's also pretty cool. And then you just have, you know, of course, a lot of places to sit down. And then when you you scroll upstairs you have plenty of places to sit down and a lot more bookshelves so you should have no problems reading on this slot or finding a place to sit but all right let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go over here next door to it and we're gonna check out the pony boy dive bar okay y'all so we're down here at the pony boy dive bar so let's go ahead and check this out right, let's see so when you come in oh this is really nice so when you come in you have plenty of tables to sit down at there's also a dance floor right here there is a platform with some instruments for live bands you have places to sit down over here you also have your bar over here as well some bathrooms over here on this side and then in this room i guess this is like the game room so to speak so you have a dartboard foosball table shuffleboard a place to sit over here and then on the outside of the lot you have a little place to sit out here as well so i think this lot is pretty cool though all right y'all so we're gonna go ahead and go next door to this lot this is the valley recreation center so let's go ahead and open this up real quick all right y'all so this lot is classified as a gym so what when you come in you have like your front like check-in desk area you have a place to sit over here there's foosball over here on this side you have your bathrooms there's like a little empty space right here so i guess you can add more in here if you need to and then over here in this section you have a pool with some pool lounge chairs out here as well there's also a hot tub here and a diving board now let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick so when you go upstairs oh this is kind of cool so when you go upstairs you have like a little yoga section over here yoga doesn't exist in the sims 3 pc version but there is a yoga mod so i guess you can use that here if you wanted to but otherwise there is a stereo over here over here in this section you have a fridge coffee machine and then you have your treadmills weight machines as well there's also a tv in here and a stereo so you can always dance and stuff like that if you want to so now let's go ahead and go upstairs again so when you go upstairs there's really nothing here it leads you out to the rooftop though and there is a chest table out here so that's pretty cool you can do chest on the roof so you have another good skill building item on the slot if you need it and then over here you have a dumpster that you can dumpster dive in if you wanted to but all right y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go over here to this section next and we're gonna check out the amy coffee house and then afterwards we'll go to the lakeside lanes so let's check out the coffee house first all right y'all so we're down here at amy coffee house and it looks so cool i low-key want to build a coffee house now <laughs> there's even places to sit outside of it but let's go ahead and scroll down real quick so when you come in oh look we got a uh we got somebody here who is this bigfoot <gasps> oh wait you know what y'all this world might be populated after all let me know is this world populated i need to go and see but i think it is if, if it's not we got a bigfoot right here yeah because i didn't make this sim so we got bigfoot working at the coffee shop okay maybe this is what he doing in the daytime but anyway when you come in you have plenty of places to sit down there's a piano there's also a guitar and a bass over here so i guess you can come and play instruments here if you want to or listen to a live band you also have two big bookshelves over here if you need them there's also the register for the sweet treats and then there's also like a sink right here and then in the back you just have your bathrooms and then i guess this is the storage room but these are also bookshelves so you can always use these if you want to um and then there's also a dumpster out here as well so yeah but apparently we got a bigfoot y'all <laughs> all right y'all so now we're gonna go over here to 
the lakeside lanes so let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the lakeside lanes let's go ahead and open it up so there are some places to sit down like on these park benches if you want to though but when you come inside the lot you have some nice sectionals that you can sit down on you can also come in bowl if you want to there is also a little arcade room over here so you have some arcade cabinets arcade games this is really cool i like this room a lot and then you have some bathrooms right here there's some wall speakers of course and then over here you have a bar so you can come and get some drinks if you want to or some food and then there's also some vending machines in the back if you need to use those so this lot is pretty cool though all right y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go over here next to this lot this is the watchtower park so let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the watchtower park let me go ahead and zoom down to get a closer look oh this is really nice y'all this reminds me of something that would be at a, a university tell me that this would not be like in sims university somewhere this lot is kind of cool though wait a minute i like the trees okay y'all i'm getting fall vibes okay i'm getting fall vibes right now <laughs> but anyway you have plenty of places to sit down right here there's also a little area over here where you can come and play chess y'all this park is amazing i love this park there's a little pond over here that you can come and fish at if you want to then there is like this building that has like a shelter on it so let's just go ahead and scroll down real quick so when you scroll down you have a grill over here and some picnic tables there's also a self-serving bar i like the brick design on it that's kind of cool <laughs> and then over here you have your bathroom so yeah i guess you could just use the bathroom or eat under here or get a drink if you want to so i think that is really nice and then you have this watchtower so let's uh scroll all the way down and see if there's anything on the inside of it so there's really nothing on the inside of it but when you do scroll down you have some really nice artwork Work, so I think that looks really really cool though there's also an area over here where you can come and grill and just sit down and eat at the picnic tables so that's really nice and then over here on this part you have a really nice size playground with of course some park benches all around it so you can come and watch your kids play so that's pretty cool there's also another park bench over here as well so yeah this is a really cool lot like i don't know y'all this park might be one of my favorite lots so far but all right y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go ahead and move over this way let's really quick check out this graveyard so this is the church and graveyard and then we're gonna go and check out the stands next so let's check out the church and graveyard first all right y'all so we're down here at the church and graveyard so this looks really nice and fancy i, I really like the church the graveyard is also also kind of cool kind of spooky looking i guess we'll look at this first and then we'll check out the church so over here you have your graveyard over here of course you have your mausoleum you have some graves already out here for you and then there is a pond over here as well that you can come and fish if you so choose so now let's go ahead and check out this church though so let's go ahead and scroll all the way down so when you come in you have your pews right here that your sims can come and sit down you can also get married up here if you want to you also have some chairs over here on this side and then you have like this little table right here and then there's also a guitar over here in the corner. So you have a lot, some empty space up here to add more things if you so choose, though. But I think it's really nice. You also have some nice artwork over here on the walls. So that's pretty cool. But now let's go ahead and scroll up for a second because I saw a ladder. So let's scroll up. So there's nothing really here. So let me scroll all the way up and see if there's anything. So as far as I can tell, there's nothing up here. So I guess you could just go up here if you want to and just look out the windows, I guess. But otherwise, it's pretty empty on the inside. But this is a really nice church, though. So you have another spot in the world to get married at if you want to. But all right, let's go ahead and go over here to this lot. This is the stands. So let me go ahead and check this out real quick. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the stands. And you have a really nice parking lot out here. There's also some dumpsters over here as well. And then when you scroll around, you have some bleachers. Now, it is right behind the school and stadium so i'm guessing this is like the football field and track let me let me zoom out for a little bit so y'all can see you have like the football field down here the track that sims can run around and then you have like the goalpost one and goalpost two so yeah you know it's i guess it's just you know decorative it doesn't really serve a purpose but it looks really nice nonetheless like you could take some nice screenshots out here so i think that's pretty cool and then we're gonna go over here next to this lot so it doesn't really have a name but it is at 501 back forest lane so let's go ahead and check this out all right y'all so we're down here at this pool let's go ahead and check out this building first and then we'll check out the pool so let's go ahead and scroll down real quick so under here you have a grill a wall speaker some tables under here as well there's also a buffet table and then you also have a self-serving bar and then over here in this section you just have the bathrooms which let me bring the walls down so you have your bathrooms and then they also have some showers in them so you can always shower off before or after the pool and then over here you have some vending machines and then over here of course you have your big nice pool with two lifeguard stands so i think that's kind of cool then there's also a pool slot down here there's also like another lifeguard stand right here there is a mod i think that allows you to have your sims become lifeguards at community pools i want to say so yeah so that's kind of cool you have like three lifeguard stands out here and then you have plenty of places to lounge out at and then you have a pool slot so you can definitely come and enjoy yourself at the pool if you want to but now let's go ahead and go over here next to this lot so this is the playground so let's go check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the playground it is just like a little playground though so you have a 
sandbox, swing, playhouse, slide, spring rides. You have some places to sit down. And there is some sand down here that your Sims can come and play in. So I think that's really cool though. And it's like right here by like a house, which, you know what, since we're so close to this house, we might as well just check it out. I like to save the houses for last, but let's just check this one out. So let's go ahead and scroll down real quick. I like how it has this nice carport area right here though. So when you come into this house though, you have your kitchen table right here. You have your kitchen over here in this room. You have a bathroom right here. There's a bedroom over here. You have an empty room right here that you can use for something if you want to. And then over here on this section, you have your computer desk and then you have your living room and there's also a stereo. And then you also have like these really nice sliding doors for the front door and the back door. And then out here on the back, you have a nice little porch area that you can add something and it leads you out to the backyard. So I think this is a really nice house though. I like it. But all right, y'all, let's go ahead and keep moving on. So we're gonna go over here next to this lot. This is the Wallapa Valley History Museum. So let's check this out. All right, y'all, so we're down here at the Wallapa Valley History Museum. This looks very beautiful. Like, I love this. And it's like right by the water too. Like, y'all, this world is so well made. I love this world so much. I'm glad I'm looking at this today. There's also like a really nice fountain out here. I think that one came with Town Life stuff. But let me just go ahead and open up this lot real quick because I can't wait to see what the inside looks like. So when you come in, you have like your front desk area right here. You also have a really nice dining like area over here. So I guess all of these are like displays, I want to say like, or like exhibits. So you have like a dining room over here. You also have like a kitchen over here. I mean, I guess technically you can go inside and get some food if you want to though. But hey, I mean, maybe this is just like a place to eat, but I would imagine it's probably like an exhibit or something. I don't know. There's also like a bathroom over here. Over here, you have a nice sitting area. There's a statue. You also have another like office room over here. And then when you go upstairs, you have some bedrooms. I'm guessing like each room is like a different, you know, like exhibit so you can go and check out. So you have like a nursery over here. You have a bathroom. You have a bedroom here, a bedroom over here. This bedroom also has its own ensuite bathroom. And then you also have another bedroom over here. Yeah, so I'm guessing like every room is a different exhibit or different area for you to check out. So I still think it looks kind of cool though. But all right, y'all, let's go ahead and keep moving on. So we're going to go ahead and scroll over this way and let's go ahead and just check out these lots. So this one is the trailhead bathroom and then this is the beach camp. So let's check out the trailhead bathroom first. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the trailhead bathroom. Let's go ahead and open this up. So I'm guessing the bathroom is in here, right? Yeah. So you just have your all in one bathroom over here. Then of course you have your trails and stuff that I guess your Sims can walk on. So I think that's really cool. But now let's go ahead and check out the beach camp and then we'll check out the mountain air beach. So let's check out the beach camp first. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the beach camp and there is just a fire pit out here that's also a grill and picnic table of course you're at the beach so you can of course just enjoy the beach and the sand and stuff like that over here you have the mountain air beach though so you have your grills your picnic tables you have some places to lounge there's your lifeguard stand over there there's also another fire pit then you have like these two rooms so inside of these you just have your bathroom so you have your all-in-one bathrooms in here of course you are out here at the beach so you have a really nice scenery of the water and stuff like that in the rocks so you could definitely come out here and swim or play in the sand if you want to so you have a nice beach area down here but now let's go ahead y'all and keep scrolling on this way and we're gonna go over here next to this lot this is the horse training field so let's check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the horse training field this is just an equestrian like training grounds you can have your horses come here to train you can have them jump or you can have them race around if you want them to there's also some hitching post over here for your horses so you could definitely have your horses come out here if you would like all right y'all so next let's go ahead and go back this way for a second we'll check out some of these lots and then we'll keep going back on this way so next let's go ahead and check out the darren and darlene's fish bistro so let's go ahead and check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the fish bistro let's go ahead and open this up real quick oh this is really nice so when you come in you have plenty of tables to sit down at you also have an island countertop that you can sit on if you want to there's also like some empty space back here where you can add stuff on if you want to over here on this side you just have a little lobby area where you can come and sit down if you want to there's also a hot tub back out here in this room i guess this is like a little sauna so to speak so you have a hot tub over here there's also like the coals that your sim can walk on and you have some places to sit on the sectional there's also like another empty room over here that you can add stuff on if you want to outside of the lot you have some swings and a slide. There's also some places for you to sit. And then there is some sand texture down here. So I guess it's like a little sandbox that your Sims can come and play on. So this lot is pretty cool though, but I think there's something above this lot. So let me go ahead and go upstairs real quick. So it is pretty empty up here though. So you could definitely add more onto this lot if you want to, to make it a little bit more functional. And then over here on the back, you have some vending machines, a little place to sit. And then you have some dumpsters out here as well. But all right, y'all, let's go ahead and keep moving on. So we're gonna go over here next to this lot. This is the Beach Mart. And then afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and check out the Beach Bar. So let's check out the Beach Mart first. All right, y'all, so we're down here at the Beach Mart. Let's go ahead and try to open this up real quick. So when you scroll down, there's nothing really here. This world does use some rabbit hole doors. Some of y'all may know about rabbit hole rugs, but this world does use rabbit hole doors, but there's only like a couple of lots that actually use it. And you don't really need to download them 
to get this world to like function properly but if you want to download them you can but all the information about the world will be included on the creators page so i'll make sure to link it but now let's go ahead and go and check out the beach bar so when you come inside you have your bar over here with your island countertops there's also three tvs in here that you can watch if you want to or four tvs i'm sorry there's four tvs in here there's also some tables where you can come and sit down there's also a bubble blowing machine over here you have your foosball tables some booths over here where you can come and sit down over here you have like a little kitcheny room and then you have your bathrooms and then out here on the deck you have plenty of umbrella tables to come and sit down at there's also a fire pit out here and you have two grills where you can come and grill if you want to and then we're right out here to the beach so this beach is called Walapa Beach so let's just check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at Walapa Beach right off the bat I am seeing a lifeguard stand out here you also have some places where your sims come and lounge at there's also this little like a shelter over here so let me go ahead and scroll down real quick so underneath the shelter you have a bar you have a grill with two picnic tables there's also some bathrooms over here in the back over here you have two more picnic tables and another the grill and then there's also some showers over here that you can come and use so i think that's pretty cool and then of course you're at the beach so you can always enjoy beach activities if you want to but now let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're going to go over here next to this lot this is the orwell's apple orchard so let's check this out okay y'all so we're down here at orwell's apple orchard and this looks amazing so of course it's an apple orchard so you have plenty of apple trees growing out here you can always have your sims come here and harvest apples if you want to there's also some picnic tables out here as well there's also like a little shelf shelter under here so let me go ahead and open this up so underneath the shelter you have a grill plenty of picnic tables under here there's some hitching posts for your horses there's also a bathroom over here and then you have like a little kitcheny area over here as well back over this way you have two stables for your horses and then you have a nice pond out here where your sims can come and fish if you want them to so i think that's pretty cool but now y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go ahead and scroll this way and let's check out this lot first and then we'll go back this way so this is the high peak pond so let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the high peak pond it is classified as a fishing spot so of course you have a pond over here where your sims can come and fish you also have a fire pit out here as well there's a grill and then you have i'm guessing this is where the bathrooms are so let me scroll down real quick yeah so you have your all-in-one bathroom in here so you could definitely like have your sims come out here like on a date or something or a fishing trip or a family outing or something like that or if you need a place to get away from it all you could definitely have your sims come here as well so let's go ahead and keep moving on before i do go over here though i want to check out this lot because i think we missed this one this is the george pond so let me go ahead and check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the george pond and of course it's just a pond it's just a fishing spot you can have your sims come out here and fish if you want to you could definitely add more stuff out here maybe like a grill or something or a picnic table but otherwise it is just a fishing spot but all right y'all so let's go ahead and keep moving on this way so we're gonna go over here next to this lot this is the highland motel so let's check this out all right y'all so we're down here at the highland motel this is kind of nice though because it's not every day that you see a motel in the sims 3 so this is kind of cool now there is like a little pool over here so we'll check this out first though so over here you you have your hot tub there's also your pool and then you have a little food stand out here and then you have places where you can come and lounge now this lot is classified as a resort so let's go ahead and scroll all the way down so when you come in you have your front desk area over here you have your lobby you have your dining room or like your buffet room you have a workout room over here and then over here in this section you have of course all of your rooms they all have a pretty much the same layout they all have a double bed a tv a table with two chairs a kitchen and it also has a bathroom as well so they all pretty much share the same exact layout they also have like a nightstand and a lamp and a trash can but let's go ahead and scroll up then when you scroll upstairs the layout is a little bit different you have two single beds a bigger tv and then you have like a, a kitcheny area over here and then you have a bathroom so all of the rooms upstairs also have like the same layout but now let's go ahead and scroll all the way down for a second so when you scroll all the way down you of course have your rabbit hole rooms that your sims can come and sleep in they'll go inside this and then they will disappear but all right y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're going to go over here next to this lot this is the wash and dry laundromat and then afterwards we're going to go check out bill's brews so let's check out the wash and dry laundromat first all right y'all so we're down here at the wash and dry laundromat let's go ahead and open it up so when you come in you have your washers and your dryers of course there's also some places to sit right here you have your tv and then you have like your little like office -y, like front desk area with a computer desk and a chair then you also have your bathroom over here in the back there's also like a dumpster right here too so that's pretty cool but now we're going to go over here next to bill's brews so this is a bar so let's go ahead and open this up real quick so 
I turned the intensity up on the lights just so we could see a bit better in here though. So when you come in, you have your bar with your countertops over here. You have some tables where you can come and sit down, some booths over here in the corner. Over here, you have a shuffleboard and then you have your bathrooms over here in the back. And then you have an inaccessible room right here. So this is a really nice sized bar, but I would definitely have my Sims come here to get some drinks or maybe just to play shuffleboard or something like that. So this is really cool. And it also has two dumpsters outside of it as well. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and keep moving on. So I think there's a couple lots I didn't see yet. So this is one of them. This is Camp Wallapa. So let's check this out. All right, y'all. So we're down here at Camp Wallapa. It is just a little campground though. So you have a fire pit, your grill, you have two grills, two picnic tables. Then you have these little like sections over here. I guess you can plant something here or put something here if you want to. And then I think this is just where your bathrooms are. So yeah, so you have your all in one bathroom over here. So you have a nice little campground if you need one. But let's go ahead and keep moving on. So we're gonna go over here this way because I think we missed some lots earlier. So I don't think we've seen this one. This is the Sandy Shore Dock. So let's check this out real quick. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the Sandy Shore Dock. It is just like a nice pier fishing spot. So you can have your Sims come out here and fish. And of course, you can come and like swim in the water and stuff like that if you want to. You also have a fire pit out here. And then over here, you have a grill, trash can, and picnic table. And then over here, I guess you just have your bathroom. So I'll scroll down just to show y'all. Yep. So you have your all-in-one bathrooms out here. So that's pretty cool. And then I think we also didn't see this lot too. So this is the Rocky Cliff Camp. So let's go ahead and check this out as well. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the rocky cliff camp and it is like a little campsite on a cliff so that's pretty interesting but otherwise it is just a campsite though so you have your fire pit you have your grill your picnic table there's a little thing over here i don't really know what this is supposed to be used for but maybe you can plant something out here or maybe it's like a sandbox or something i don't really know but you have a plot of something over here there's also your bathroom over here in this section i'll just scroll down to show y'all you have your bathroom right there then you have two hitching posts for your horses and you have like another little plot over here again not really sure what's supposed to be here or what this is supposed to be maybe it's like a little campground like thing where you can put up a campfire here or something i don't really know y'all but you have another plot if you need it all right y'all and i think there's like one more fishing spot that i didn't see and i think it's this one right here it's the old dock so let me go ahead and check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the old dock it is just a little fishing spot so you can have your sims come out here and fish if you want to you're right here on the beach so you can definitely come out and enjoy the sand or the ocean so that's pretty cool but all right y'all i think we've seen all of the community lots in this world i really hope i didn't miss any so forgive me if i do but now we're gonna go ahead and move on to some of the residential lots i'm gonna start off by showing y'all that house that i placed elliot down at and i'm not gonna get a chance to see all of the homes in this world because there's quite a few but i'll skip around a little bit just to give y'all a general idea of what they look like so let me start off by showing y'all the house that i placed elliot down at first so it is this really nice yellow starter home i mean it's yellow like his coat so i was like i gotta look at this one so let's just go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in you have a lot of empty space so you could definitely fill it up with stuff if you want but you have your kitchen over here on this side your living room over here on this side there's a nursery a bathroom here and then this bedroom has his own ensuite bathroom and if you don't know who Elliot is, y'all, he is my tour guide sim. He is in all of my world overview videos. He was also in my Nightmare Legacy Challenge series. A Nightmare Legacy is like a normal legacy, but it's on short lifespan. So if you want to watch that series, I'll leave it linked down below. But all right, y'all, let's go ahead and just skip around a little bit. So let's go over here next and check out this really big house. All right, y'all, so we're down here at this really big greenhouse. I really like the Tudor style, but let's go ahead and open it up real quick. Oh, this house is really big. You know what? Let's scroll all the way down. So I guess this is the basement, I guess. So you have a nice bar down here. There's also a bathroom over here. So over here, you have a pool table and some places to come and sit so that's kind of nice down here and then over here you have a garage so i guess you can like enter in down here through the garage if you want to though but let's go ahead and scroll up so when you come into the house you have a nice dining room area over here your kitchen there's also your piano your living room section over here over here you have a nice little home office space so that's kind of cool and let's go ahead and go upstairs again so when you go upstairs again you have a really big bedroom over here it also has its own ensuite bathroom right here you have a really nice sized nursery oh i love the color scheme like that olive kind of green color scheme that's really cool so you have a nice nursery over here that's also a really cool couch and like a coffee table right here in the hallway and then over here you have another bathroom and then you have another master bedroom over here so this is really cool this one has a computer desk at it so yeah this is really nice and then like this room right here has access to the balcony where your sims can come and stand out on if you want them to so i think that's really nice as well all right y'all so i want to look at this this blue house that was right beside it because it kind of caught my eye this house caught my eye and i was like i needed to look at it real quick so let's go ahead and open it up i love that blue on the outside so when you come in you have a nice dining room area over here you have a little place for your sims to sit by the front door there's also a bathroom right here by the staircase you have a nice living room area 
there is a kitchen over here you're you have a kitchen table there is a door that leads to this deck so there is a grill out here there's a chest table then you also have a little table up here as well and then when you scroll upstairs you have a little office space over here in this corner a bathroom a nursery a bedroom over here for kids or teenagers and then you have a master bedroom and it also has its own ensuite bathroom so i think that's really cool okay y'all so next i want to look at some of these houses over here in this little dock area i think i'm only going to look at two though so let's look at this one first this white house and then we'll check out maybe this one right here so let's check this one out first all right y'all so we're down here at this white house let's go ahead and open it up real quick Ooh, i like the color scheme in here though so when you come in you have a room for kids or teenagers it's a bunk bed right here there's also a deck to the bear toy and a toy box over here and a dresser over this way you have a kitchen table your kitchen alongside this wall your living room you have some bookshelves right here and then of course out here you have your steering wheel and a grill and then over here on this side you just have like a little like balcony area where you can come and just walk, stand out on and just look out at the building over there or like the world so that's pretty cool there's also like another area over here where you can come out and just stand out and look at the next house over there but now let's go ahead and scroll up real quick so when you scroll up you have like the master bedroom area up here it has a computer desk a little area to sit it has an all-in-one bathroom and then you still have these slide indoors where you can come and stand out on the balconies and just look out if you want to and then over here on the top you just have your grill and your umbrella tables out here so i think that's pretty cool but all right y'all let's go ahead and look at this house over here next so we're over here at this house this one looks kind of nice it kind of reminds me of like a party boat or something let's go ahead and open it up Ooh, this is nice wait so when you come in you have your security alarm system that's also an table with a phone on it you have a little office over here i like the fish right here hanging above the computer desk that's kind of cool over here you have a bathroom you have your nice living room area there's your kitchen your dining table you have a little deck space out here with a grill and a picnic table but now let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick so when you go upstairs you have a bedroom over here you have a master bedroom you have a bathroom and then you have a little deck space out here where you can come and paint or sit down if you want to and then when you scroll upstairs again to the very top of the boat you have a picnic table out here you have this really nice overhang umbrella object you have a chest table some places a lounge then you have some places where you can come and sit down and then you have a steering wheel so you can you know steer around the world if you want to so that's pretty cool so yeah this is a really nice area down here and i would urge y'all to go ahead and check out some more of these boat houses because i think it's really nice and then you have like an empty one right here at this port where i guess you can build your own house Oh, if you want to like dock your own boat or something right here so i think that's pretty cool though but all right y'all i'm gonna go ahead and keep scrolling around let me go ahead and look at maybe this house right here i'm just trying to give y'all like a general idea of what these houses look like so let's just check out this house next oh this one is really nice it's like right out here on the beach oh this is really really nice y'all i like this house let's go ahead and open it up real quick though so when you scroll all the way down it's pretty empty down here but you could definitely add more stuff in here if you want to but when you scroll up you have your dining room your kitchen there's a little office space right here you have your living Living room there is a bedroom right here with his own ensuite bathroom and then you just have a regular bathroom that anyone can use there's even a little deck space out here where your sims could come and lounge out if you want them to so that's really nice as well and then over here you have like this little house so over here you have a bar and a little kitcheny area back out here there's also a stereo so you could definitely have your sims come live here and just enjoy themselves that's right here on the lake so that's really nice it's like a really nice lake house i'm gonna go ahead and scroll over this way and i think we'll look at one or two more houses let's look at, let's look at two more houses so let's look at this house right here next okay y'all so we're down here at this house it's a really nice a-framed house and it's really right here like on the cliff it's, it's so nice <laughs> i love that the houses in this world so let's go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come inside of the house you have a computer desk right here you have your kitchen your table there's some bookshelves right here you have a little place to come and sit and then you have a little balcony space right here with an art easel you can come and paint and look at out the ocean so i think that's really nice and i think there's something down below this so when you scroll down below there's like a room down here so when you scroll down you have a bathroom here and then you have a bedroom that's a dresser and a nightstand so this is a really nice size house i like it. it's like a one bedroom house that's really cool all right y'all so i think we're gonna look at one more house i think i want to look at this big house right here so we've seen this house earlier in the video but let's look at this one this will be the last house we look at today y'all this house is amazing i don't think i've seen anything like this in the sims 3 i love this house wait a minute it kind of gives me like a mid-century vibe let me go ahead and open this up real quick oh my gosh this is so cool let me just scroll all the way down so down here you have a garage space with some bike racks and a parking space so you can have your sims park their vehicles down here but when you come inside the house though you have a nice little like entrance foyer area with a little office -y space over here you have your living room over here with a foosball table yeah y'all this house gives me like a mid-century vibe you have a grill out here on the patio area there's also like a table over here with some plants on it over here you have your dining room your kitchen there's a bar outside over here as well 
and then over here in this way you have a big nice bedroom over here with its own ensuite bathroom so the bathroom up here has a tub and then you have a separate room over here for the shower so that's kind of cool and then when you scroll upstairs you have a bedroom over here with its own ensuite bathroom and also has a desk it's kind of lofted so you can kind of look down at the living room so i think that's really cool and then over here you have your nursery with its own ensuite bathroom and there's a little area over here where you can come and sit if you want to but yeah y'all this house is amazing i really like this house this might be one of my favorite houses in this world but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video again this world is called walapa valley i'm very happy that i got to see this world today because it's so well made and i will leave it linked down below but if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like comment something down below follow me on twitch because i stream the sims 3 a lot and before we go let me just go into edit town mode real quick because i want to see how many empty lots there are in this world all right y'all so i went to edit town mode really quick just to show y'all that there are some empty lots over here in this world there's one over here with a weatherstone there's also one right here so there are some empty lots sprinkled around the world one over here as well so if you want to add your own lots or build or place down some lots you could definitely do that in this world if you want it to so i think that's really cool that's also like an empty space over here but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching